Hi friends, today we are going to be looking at how we rename mixed numbers when subtracting. So yesterday we talked a little bit about adding and subtracting fractions, and we renamed mixed numbers with an improper fractions when we were adding. And we're going to start off by trying that work today. And I want to remind you again of all of the things that you know, because these are all of the things that should be prior knowledge that you can write in your little box even, because they tell us the things that we already know. They act as our prior knowledge that will help us answer the questions we do today. So we know how to create models using pictures. We can decompose fractions using unit fractions. We can write expressions using unit fractions. We can add and subtract fractions with like denominators. And we can rename mixed numbers with an improper fraction. And today we're going to try renaming mixed numbers when subtracting. But first, I want to do one of those problems that we did yesterday when we added and we saw that the answer had a mixed number and an improper fraction and what we had to do to fix that. So let's do the example 3 and 4 fifths plus 1 and 2 fifths. So I know when I answer this, I use my mixed numbers, I break them down into whole numbers first. 3 plus 1 is 4. Then I look for my denominator, which is 5. I know that's going to stay the same. Then I add my numerator, 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Now I'm looking at this and I'm saying, great, I'm all done. But I'm noticing that this mixed number includes an improper fraction. So I need to change that improper fraction. So I'm going to rewrite this. 4 and 6 fifths. This 6 fifths is what I need to change. So I'm going to count by fives because that's my denominator. So I need to count by fives until I get to 6. So I can count 5 plus 1 gives me 6. And this is going to be fifths as well. We keep the denominator the same. So now I'm looking at this and saying 4, and I just changed the 6 fifths to 5 fifths and 1 fifth. So 4 plus 5 fifths plus 1 fifth equals... I'm going to make one more change. I know 5 fifths equals 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 1 fifth is 5 and 1 fifth. We're going to use the same idea when we're subtracting. So take a minute, get this in, and we're going to try the subtraction. Okay, friends, let's try this subtraction problem. 7 and 1 fifth minus 4 and 3 fifths. Now I know I can do the same steps as I did before. I look at my whole number first. 7 minus 4 is 3. Then I look at my denominator. That's 5. Now I look at my numerator. 1 minus 3. Uh-oh. I cannot do 1 minus 3. So you know what? I have to backtrack. This is not going to work. We need to think of something else. And I'm thinking of subtraction. I know I can rename when I subtract. So I'm going to write this one more time. 7 and 1 fifth minus 4 and 3 fifths. When I say that now, I notice that 1 is less than 3. And that needs to change. And I know today... When we were working, I saw some friends able to rename their whole numbers. So I'm thinking, how can I rename this whole number so I get another fraction? Hmm. Well, I know I can make this 6, and I can add one more to get 7. But I want this to be a fraction. So to rename, I'm going to change that 1 to 5 fifths. And 6 plus 5 fifths, or 6 plus 1, is still the same as 7. 
and I can add that one fifth right back in there. So now my fraction, we're turning it into that mixed number with an improper fraction in order to subtract 6 plus 5 fifths plus 1 fifth. Well, I'm going to keep the 6, and now 5 fifths plus 1 fifth is 6 fifths. Now I'm putting my fractions together so I have a higher numerator to subtract. So now I can do the rest of my subtraction. 6 and 6 sixths, 6 fifths minus 4 and 3 fifths. Now I can follow those regular steps that we practiced. Underline my whole numbers. And 6 minus 4 gives me 2. Now I can circle my denominators, which will stay the same. That's fifths. And 6 minus 3, now I'm so excited because I have a larger number here. Because we renamed. 6 minus 3 is 3. And I know this was tricky, so I want to try one more example with you. So we are going to write another fraction. Let's try 5 and 2 fourths minus 3 and 3 fourths. So I know now, I've trained my brain to look at those numerators, and I'm noticing the 2 is smaller, and that doesn't work for me. So I need to rename. So I'm going to change my whole number to a mixed number that has four fourths as one whole, and four. Because four plus four fourths, we know four fourths is one, four plus one is five. Okay, so I know that I renamed correctly. Plus the two fourths. Now I'm going to add together this part so I can have a larger fraction. So we're going to have four and six fourths. We're going to do four and six fourths minus three and three fourths. And now we can use our regular steps. Mix numbers first. Four minus three equals one. Circle my denominators, which will stay the same. So I have fourths. And six minus three equals three. And you have a new mix number by renaming. We're going to continue practicing this tomorrow. I know it's tough, but good luck.